dessert duty uh, this weekend. For, <laughs> I give it to him, really. For a terrible, they didn't nick my Rocky Road. Jane Dunn has got there just the thing to satisfy your neighbour's sweet tooth with the Biscoff Rocky Road. You had me at Rocky Road. <laughs> you nailed it on Biscoff. So where does Biscoff... Why are we gone Biscoff crazy? I'm glad we've gone Biscoff crazy. I know, Where's so it come right. from? It's genuinely my favourite thing. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's one of the easiest things you can incorporate in anything like Rocky Road. Because it's one of those biscuits it. that you might get in a hotel room or yeah. something. You know? It's a really think, lovely... Mm, but now it's my favourite thing ever. Well, how has this Caroline, Biscoff revolution sort of come spiced. around? It's just everyone made it into everything. Cheesecake, everything. It I works. Cookies with them in. I had but a the Kit Kat Easter with yep. it. Did you? Yep. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, no, it's everywhere. This, this Rocky Road is only five ingredients as well, and the Biscoff just absolutely shines through, so we absolutely love it. And it is the perfect thing you can make, make this weekend, which is what I absolutely Thank love. Thank you, Alison. You're welcome. Um, so where do we start? <laughs> for this, I use white chocolate as the base, because I think it marries really, really well with the Biscoff, but if you want to use white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, any of them, you can just replace it however you want. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that your white chocolate is absolutely smooth and melted and lovely. What's you can the do best this... way to melt chocolate? A double boiler like this is probably the best one. So you have a bowl that sits on top of a pan and you just make sure that the water is slightly simmering underneath and it will just slowly What's melt it down. What's that called again when you do that? Is it a bomb? Bomb Marie. 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 That's it. Um, other people call it a double boiler. You can also do it in the microwave on the defrost setting. That's oh, yeah. really oh, good really at melting really chocolate. Yep. Yeah. And you just mix mm. some um, unsalted butter into the chocolate. Good. The butter makes sure that it thickens slightly, but it's easier to cut, which is what you need. I right. really like the, the white chocolate as well. It's a really lovely taste. Yeah, it works really, really well with it, doesn't it? I'm not a massive white chocolate fan, but this is lovely. Mm. I think that's the flavour of the Biscoff coming through. It's just absolutely delicious. But anyway, once you've mixed your white chocolate and your butter, you yeah. add in the lovely spread. And you just sort of... It's the easy thing of you just whack all of this together. And Jane, have you done do the it. same with the Biscoff there? Is that, yeah. is that over the Bamarie as well? Yeah, so you can do it that way. You can also do that in the microwave. It's just, it's so easy to melt. It takes barely that, any time. Because Biscoff is the, the biscuit and the spread, right? It's sort of like the same flavours just made into a spread. So this so... is in the same way you'd have Nutella, you'd have Biscoff kind yes, of thing. Yes, right. exactly. Right. Okay. So that's what I love about this. So you have your chocolate, your butter and your spread all mixed together and then you can add whatever you like. For me, I add in some of the biscuits, so they're just easy. You just sort of break them into the bowl, however. Want some biscoff you want, really. with your biscoff? Yeah, it Lovely. goes overload. It's all chocolate. It's all biscoff. It's all marshmallows. I think it's, it's just. just I really think I like it so much because it's... yeah, you literally. This is what's so good about it this weekend. Is your kids can get involved if they don't bake. If you're not a very good baker, this doesn't involve an oven, which is what you know most people need. I think so... what I like about it is it. I like caramel. Yeah, you know, I love the it's caramel the caramelized taste. It's sort got of that lovely caramel flavor. taste to it, isn't it? It's so naughty, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. How many calories do you reckon is in this? Shh. We don't talk about that bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot in there. No, 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 no. Oh, it's bank holiday. Four day, we're, we're four day cheats. <laughs> right? You're allowed. It's good for your oh, soul. Oh, goodness. It's so good. I'm not eating anymore, though. No. I'm going to have it sugar overload. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buzzing already. <laughs> so once you've. Um... Our crash is going to be so bad after this. <laughs> Once you've added everything into the bowl, you literally just mix it together like that. It's so easy that anyone can do it. So you just randomly chop up the biscuits, it doesn't matter, just put them in. Yeah, literally just shove it into the bowl, mix like that. It's just so easy, isn't it? When you get to the tin, it's very, very important to line it, though, because otherwise it's just going to get to a sticky mess. Yeah. If you want to line a tin well, you can sort of cut the paper so that there's, you know, little slits like that to make it easier. But one of my favourite tricks is just to get a square of parchment paper and scrunch it up into yeah. a ball. Same thing with tiny letter. And then you unroll it and you can just press in like that. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Just so make that it like you happen. butter the tin then? You yeah, you can the grease tin the tin and then put it in. And then in. you put it in and you just literally press all of the Biscoff. Oh, I love that. That's a Rocky really good road. idea. Uh, into the tin like so. Alison, as a parent, let me ask you this for a piece of advice as to when <laughs> Casper gets slightly yeah. older. Do not give him this at all. <laughs> 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 That's all you need to know. You do know not when, make this You know when we always say it's a nice thing to do with the kids, <laughs> but you know when you're, you know, you're time poor and yeah. you're trying to get stuff done and your kids are going, oh, let me help, and you, and you want to go, of course I'll leave it, but part of you going, I've got time for you to help yeah. because I know this is going to end up well, in disaster. You just let what them, do you do? Well, then you just, like, no, let's, let's pretend this is a spoon and yeah. then we're, we're mixing. Yeah. We go, OK, well, you mix mix the mixture there. Yeah. And then I just, like, take over. <laughs> there, well, right, that's yeah. so good. Well done. <laughs> there you go. Well done. You, you just did that, that didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Kind of a sit-down, watch you them tell you. You just did the mixing. Well done. <laughs>
So it is maybe easier to do it yourself, but once you've set it in the fridge, you can freeze it if you need to be a bit quicker, if you want it for a street party today. You get even more spread because why would you not have even more? And you just drizzle Jane, it. Jane, how long oh, does that, that need to be so in the fridge great. for? Um, it's a couple of hours. If it's in the freezer, maybe an hour. You can do it in small portions. You can do it however you want, really. And then, hang on, where did this Biscoff come from? Is this new Biscoff? Or is yes, this, this yeah. is even more. Even more. And then does that go on before you put it in the freezer? Um, you can put it on before, you can put it on after, whichever way you want. The good thing is it sets really quickly because the Biscoff is quite... Um, the Rocky Road is quite cold. Like ice magic? Yes. If you wanted to jazz this up a little bit, you can change it by doing whatever else you want instead. So if you wanted extra flavours like raisins, glacé cherries, because what people like in Rocky Road really like varies. Mm. So you can have nuts, more chocolate chips, and like I said, you can do dark chocolate, milk chocolate. You can also, if it's easier for a party, use cupcake cases. So if you put oh, some no. of the mix... Oh, that's, that's a really idea. good idea, because it's a good portion size. Yeah, exactly. If you put it in here, then you just set it like that. You can just serve them really easily without having to portion that's it yourself. That's a great idea. Oh, so you can set them in the thing Yeah, as well. exactly, and then they're ready to go. And you can make this into bite-sized pieces, larger pieces, you whatever you want. scale off the recipe yeah. if you need to. It's so much easier. If you need to serve 100 people, just make loads of it. And you can do it Jane however Dunn. you want. You're an absolute legend. <laughs> Thank you was so much, Jane. Thanks, it's Jane. delicious. Brilliant. I mean, I've slowed down. You've literally <laughs> caned it. It wasn't me. That was the Five Star Boys. Oh, fair play to you. I don't know. Uh, Jane, thank you so much. It's a lovely recipe. For all those recipe details of today and more delicious ideas from our This Morning chefs, just head to the free This Morning app.